Welcome to Cargo Film Presents. I'm Dan. And I'm Dave. Cargo Film Presents. We discuss and recommend films from our catalog, and today we're going to be talk about, talking about Jackson, which is a devastating film by Macy Crow and Jamie Boyle, which looks at the last abortion clinic in Mississippi as it tries to stay open in the face of pressure from conservative legislators and anti-abortion activists. Yeah, this is a, this is a pretty incredible film. And, you know, there have been a lot of documentaries, um, of course, that have documented the uh, abortion debate in this country. It's been going on for years, um, you know, and, and I think this one does um, kind of rise to the to the top. The uh, there's um, you know, it's genuinely uh, well made. There's uh, uh, fantastic photography and editing editing by uh, Macy and, and uh, Jamie Boyle. And so I think it elevates it from your uh, typical social uh, issue uh, documentary to something uh, far greater. I've heard it. Uh, I've read that you know it's described as as very elegant filmmaking, and it and it is. Uh, it really does immerse you into uh, both sides of the uh, debate. And and you know even though it isn't a completely objective take on the issue, uh, it, it really does do a uh, a, a pretty terrific job uh, to have you hear both sides. Of, of this issue uh, in order to form your own opinion. Yeah, I mean, abortion has become uh, such a highly politicized issue um, in the United States. And what's remarkable about the film is the, um, you know, the ground level access both to the last abortion clinic in the state, as well as, um, you know, crisis pregnancy centers, which have popped up um, in, in recent years, um, which are places that, you know, they, they might appear uh, on the surface to be um, medical clinics or abortion clinics, but in reality, um, they're places where um, anti-abortion activists um, try and convince women um, not to give up their, uh, or not to have an abortion. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, at one level, it's infuriating to see how uh, these these places, uh, you know, uh, misrepresent uh, facts and 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 the truth, and use it to their advantage. At another level, uh, I think uh, Macy does a great job at at really showing you how Im important a a uh, an emotional a uh, an issue it is for people on, on the right. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I think, you know, w watching the film, I, I was also <laughs> amazed at the, at the courage of the, um, the clinic's director. So the um, Jackson Women Health Organization, as we said, it's the, it's the last abortion clinic, which is kind of mind blowing uh, on its own. And then, you know, you see the courage of the director, um, Shannon Brewer, as well as the, um, the doctor at the clinic, uh, Dr. Willie Parker. And, you know, it's just they, it, it's just imagine going to your job every day and people are yelling at you. They're saying you're a killer. They're telling you you have the blood of innocent children on your hands. And yet, you know, they, every day they continue to, to try and provide um, information and access and services to, you know, to women for reproductive health. It's, it's, um, <clears throat> It's impressive and, and uh, you know, pretty remarkable. Right. And uh, if we didn't mention it already, this is a, an Emmy Award winning uh, documentary film uh, as a Best Social Issue Dog from 2017. And uh, a, a funny story for uh, when we did place this film with uh, Showtime. Um, the, the, the person uh, at Showtime that, um, that uh, made the decision to acquire this film was a uh, self-professed uh, Republican. Uh, and, and yet when uh, he uh, watched this film and, and he may have, uh, you know, uh, been perhaps more uh, wavering to, to the right uh, on, on this issue, uh, but but did share with me that uh, he he was so impressed with the film that it did make him uh, at least pause and and think about uh, the the methods and and the uh, uh, inner workings of of uh, some of the anti-abortionists are, are using to uh, you know mis miseducate uh, people and 
usually people that are poverty stricken and, and let's face it, mainly in at least in Venice, Mississippi, African American women, uh, single moms who need this uh, uh, information the most and, and, and whose laws, which these laws are affecting the most. And we see that play out with um, um, uh, April. Yeah, we see that play out with April Jackson. She's a single African American mother of, of four kids. And she, um, as, as the film takes place, she's pregnant again. Um, and um, she, uh, she has a relationship with, the, with Barbara Beavers, who runs the Crisis Pregnancy Center. And, you know, we see that relationship play out how, you know, crisis pregnancy centers, um, they offer material support like uh, diapers, clothing for, for children's, for children um, and for mothers, uh, you know, as, as a way to convince them not to have an abortion. Um, and it's, it's, um, it's kind of uncomfortable and, and, and hard to watch, but, you know, uh, I think it's it's worth seeing this film, you know, wherever whichever side you fall on the uh, on the abortion debate. Right. Um, yeah. Indeed, I think the the remarkable achievement of of this film is um, the filmmaker's ability to uh, get the kind of access and intimacy from uh, from both sides, and have these people uh, on both sides really feel comfortable discussing. And being transparent about um, how they uh, go about their uh, business on this very uh, contentious uh, issue. So we um, highly recommend it uh, to to broaden your your scope on on uh, this issue. The film is available on transactional platforms, iTunes, uh, Vimeo, and Amazon, and uh, soon to be on uh, uh, another American streaming platform towards the end of this year. Yeah, uh, and, and just want to add, it's an, it's an incredibly timely film. Uh, right now, there's a case in front of the Supreme Court, which is about admitting privileges um, for abortion providers. So if you're an abortion clinic, states have tried to pass laws um, requiring doctors who perform abortions to have admitting privileges to, to hospitals, and this now is in front of the Supreme Court. And if it does pass, it would likely close clinics like the one in Jackson and other states in the South. So it's a pretty big um, decision coming up. And so, you know, Jackson really does speak to this fundamental issue of access um, to reproductive health. So we, uh, yeah, we highly recommend it. All right, and here's the clip. Security cameras ripped down, power cords tampered with, and their generator vandalized. Surveillance video may just have captured the prime suspect on camera. Let me be clear, make no mistake about it, this is a form of domestic terrorism. We're doing around the clock security. We have someone watching at all times, either on the facility or somewhere close around. cause of death in America. You know, God hates the hands that shed innocent blood, sir, and you're actually helping them do that right now. You're part of the system that kills children. Half the black women who get pregnant will have an abortion, sir. You don't have to come in here, guys. I'm not a protester. I'm, I'm a peacemaker. 
man, and make no mistake about it. Here, what you so are doing God, here sir, is wanton, willful, premeditated murder. 